Have a nice day, student. Today we continue the chapter improvement in food resources. Today we discuss about the organic farm. Organic it means the molecule which contain the carbon we call them organic. Farming it means agriculture. The agriculture technique in, in which we use the organic material or organic substances we call it them organic farm. It is the eco-friendly technique in which the biofertilizers in which biofertilizers, biodegradable chemicals are used. These chemicals are eco-friendly, so this technique is known as the eco-friendly techniques are used for the agriculture. So this technique is also known as the green farming or organic farming or eco-friendly technique. Now, what are the advantages of this farming system or farming pattern? So, first of all, we will discuss about the advantages of this technique. So, first of all, we will discuss what is the advantage of this technique. This technique is very useful or very helpful in the maintaining the soil fertility. Soil fertility is, means it is the productivity Productivity of soil, we call them soil fertility. Second impo important advantage of this technique, it also useful or helpful in the reduce the harmful effect. It reduce the harmful effect of chemicals or pollution in the agriculture. Now we discuss about the irrigation. First of all, what is the meaning of irrigation? Irrigation is the providing the water to the crop for the growth and development. It means we supply the water, supply the water to crop. It's called irrigation. Irrigation mainly based on two factors. That is the first factor we call them soil based irrigation in which the irrigation pattern or irrigation timing irrigation is depend on the soil property or soil nature we call them soil based irrigation and the second one is depend on the crop the second type of irrigation we call them crop based irrigation so here the two type of irrigation one which is depend on the soil another is depend on the now we discuss about the irrigation systems. The systems which are involved in the irrigation, we call them irrigation system. Irrigation systems, it means the systems which are developed for the providing the water to the crop, we call them irrigation systems. So here we discuss about the some irrigation systems. For example, the first irrigation system that is the canal system. Canals are found which is used to the supply the water to the main crop field. Second one, we call them tanks. Tanks are built up for the providing the water to the crop. Third one, that is the wells. Well is the traditional also. So it is also divided in two parts. That is the dug well, which is the traditional method for irrigation. And now tube well, which is the modern method for the irrigation. Now another important system for the irrigation that is the river lift system. Now what are the advantages? These are the old techniques or these are the some general techniques for irrigation. But the adva advanced technology or advanced techniques which are used for the irrigation that is the advanced techniques or advanced technology techniques which are used for the irrigation. So, which is the advanced technique for irrigation? The so first of all, we are talking about the sprinkler system. A sprinkler system is the advanced technique for irrigation in the uneven land. Uneven land it means where the soil is uneven. For example, golf uh, field. Uneven lands this system is very useful for supplying the water 
whole area. In this system, the water supply uniformly in the whole field, all agriculture field. So, water supply uniformly through this system in the animal land. Uniformly, water supplied through the system. Now, the second one, the second one is we call them drip irrigation. Drip irrigation is the system which is mainly used in the southern part of the country where the water supplied to the main crop along with the fertilizer. The technique in which we use the fertilizers for in the dissolving the water and then the water supply to the agriculture field we call them fertigation. So the fertigation techniques also involved in this method. These two techniques are very useful in the conservation of water also. So in this technique we apply the fertilizer in irrigation water. So apply applications of fertilizer along with the water. Applications of fertilizers along with the waters. So this is known as the fertigation. So these two techniques are very useful. These two techniques are very useful in the conservation of water also. These are very useful techniques for the conservation of conservation of water in the agriculture field. Now we discuss about the cropping pattern. Cropping pattern it means the growing of crop in the agriculture field. So this uh, pattern it means how we can grow the crop in the agriculture field. In which manner we grow the crops we call them pattern. So the cropping pattern in which we growing the crops in agriculture field. So the first of all we discuss about the mixed cropping. Mixed cropping in this technique mix the seeds of two or more different varieties or different plants and growing in the field. So what are the selection criteria? So first of all, what is the meaning of mixed cropping? Mixed cropping is the growing of growing of crops, two or more crops, two or more crops in some agriculture field is called mixed crop. So what are the selection criteria? How we can select the two different crops? So what are the selection criteria? for the growing of mixed crop in a, an agriculture field. So that is the first criteria we will discuss here duration of crop. The two crops which are grown in the same field they should having the different duration. So the duration of crop should be different first thing. The second criteria for the growing of this two different crop in the same field they are having the two different growth habits. The second criteria that is the growth habits. In which the two plants or two crops they are having the two different growth habits. They grow. They are grown in the same field. So second criteria that is the growth habits. Third one criteria. They should having the different root pattern. Different root pattern. Fourth one water need or water requirement of the crops. The water requirement should be different or water need should be different. If the both crop having the same water requirement, there are the more chances of the failure, crop failure and last one we call them nutrient demand. So these are the some basic criteria for the selection of two crops for the mixed cropping. For example, we can use the two mix two crops for the mixed cropping. One should be leguminous, for example, gram, and another should be non-leguminous, for example, wheat. These two crops can grow in the same field. Another important example which can grow in the same agricultural field that is the cotton. Cotton is the non-leguminous plant, and another one we call them leguminous plant. That so there are the two crops which are grown same time on the same agriculture field. So such type of cropping pattern is called the mixed cropping. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day for today.